Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another five looks, one palette series, and this is going to be on the NYX Swear By It. So if you're unfamiliar with my series, about once a month I, t I try to do, I take a bigger palette, usually one that may seem a little overwhelming, has a lot of different options and whatnot, and we do five looks with it. And so I will do five different videos, one look per video. And so last month I did it on the Morphe 39S Such a Gem palette, and that went over so well. I will link that down below. I always have a playlist, but I have so many of these playlists on my channel. So I um, go check my playlist tab on my channel if you're new here, and I have so much. And so I would definitely recommend checking that out, but I like to go for palettes that maybe have a little more versatility to them. So like if it's just like a big neutral palette, I don't want to create five looks that just look so similar. You know, I want to create looks that are probably going to be different. And so that's what this video is all about. If you have not already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload five days a week, Monday through Friday, and we're doing a giveaway at 500 subscribers. So subscribe for that and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And Let's go ahead and get started. Four swatches. There are 40 shades in this palette. It does retail for, I think, $34.99. I should probably fact check that before I tell you. It's $35 even, and you get 40 eyeshadows. Okay, I have definitely talked about this in the past, but you know, going through my collection and whatnot, I definitely want to do, wanted to do a whole series with this. And so the really great thing about this is that they're so pigmented you guys i will like be inserting swatches but they don't have names unfortunately they just have kind of like a grid where it just has the number so i'm not going to be saying like oh shade one shade two but you got such a variety of colors you have it's basically like a rainbow palette if you think about it um you get like beautiful blues you get greens oranges yellows reds and pinks and it's really cool um they also came out with another shadow palette and that's called modern dreamer and this one is a little more a little more brighter colors whatnot so if you want to see a five looks on palette series with this give this a thumbs up and let me know yeah it's just gonna be kind of different usually i go through swatches in depth and whatnot but i can't really because there aren't any shade names so we are just gonna go ahead and get started usually i feel like i should also mention this i do tend to do these with more morphe palettes just because morphe palettes are larger and they do have a ton of different shades and whatnot and i do like to showcase those and they're also relatively inexpensive but this is also a great option if you just want an all over kind of experimentation with color don't want like a neon palette don't want a blue palette just kind of want a little bit of everything right but before we get started going into my briefcase and we're gonna do just a little bit of um moisturizing we're gonna use the mango lip smackers it's also a super rainy day here and so i'm not really getting like any natural lighting it's just me like using like my lamps and stuff. Yeah, but I like rainy days. I personally do. So we are just going to get started. I do have a lot of dirty brushes. They really do need to get washed. But of course, I procrastinate until the last minute to do them. I don't procrastinate with all things. Just like makeup brush cleanings. <laughs> I want to do a pretty neutral look, but I do want to incorporate maybe some um, blues. So whether or not it is with this palette or not, I may have done looks in the past that may have been um, dedicated, that it may have been similar to ones that we're creating now, but I'm just showing you right now, if you have this palette, and especially right now, it's so good to shop your stash, here's some looks that you can do with it. So we're first gonna go in with, let's see, this one right here. It's pretty just all around neutral undertoned as well. I'm trying to stay away from super warm tones or super cool tones in this look because we will be doing a court, um, videos accordingly for the more warm tones of the palette, etc. But you can just tell on here that these, these really blend out nicely and there's not a whole lot of struggle. I mean, I have had palettes where, you know, you can tell in past video tutorials or whatever that, oh yeah, that's a struggle. This one definitely is not, and that is something to keep in mind. Um, another great thing with Ulta, this, well, I was saying it's $35 at Ulta. 
Um, Ulta has great rewards points and whatnot, and I have talked about this before. They have a great reward system, and they always have coupons too. So if you have coupon, a coupon or if you have points, you can save a couple bucks on this palette. Also can with other like drugstore products, I mean like Morphe, BH Cosmetics, Colourpop, um, even brands like CoverGirl, Rimmel, Physicians Formula, stuff like that. So if you are looking, it's always great to save money, and I really try and do that whenever possible. My favorite place to buy makeup is, I've said this before, Ulta, because of the great reward system. So that is something to look into if you um, are thinking about maybe just ordering from the NYX website. Ulta usually has a little, a few more perks than, say, the brand website. Okay, so I'm going to deepen this up a bit. I have noticed, though, um, I tr really try hard to buy from Ulta because I love the reward system and whatnot. But I have noticed that Tarte has their own reward system on their website, and I found that to be very cool. So if you are an avid Tarte purchaser, maybe that'd be something you're into. I'm going to go into this one right here. <laughs> I wish they had names, but like I totally get it because having names for this many colors can be difficult. So I'm just going to kind of blend this into my crease, but I'm keeping it a little lower than my original color. I'm trying to think. I don't really think anybody that I know of has a reward system like on their website. Usually it's just Ulta and Sephora, but I have talked about this before, but I'm not a huge fan of Sephora's reward system. Just because, like, the points don't really add up to anything. Overall, it just kind of seems pointless. I mean, like, at Ulta, you can take those points and you can use them for money off purchases. Why not? I mean, there. I wish some brands that I, ha I purchased from at Sephora were available at Ulta. Like the Laneige sleeping mask. At the time I'm filming this, this is during the VIB sale. And I did order another of the Laneige sleeping mask because it was on sale. And I need another one. And I wish it was available at Ulta. Because I just, I wish I, honestly, I'd just pay for it full price. If it meant that I was going to get points towards dollars off for future purchases, I would use the, I would pay full price for it. I'm using like a lighter foundation today. I list all the makeup that I'm wearing in the, in, in the description box. So if you're new here, I do that in every video. I'm really liking the simplicity of this look so far. I just, I like how it's not too much. So one group gripe I would have about this palette. I don't really have like a gripe about it because I really like it. Um, but there's not really a nice neutral cream highlight shade. Um, we have this one, but this is very yellow undertone. I don't know if you can tell really. Ooh, I think I dug my nail into it. Yes. You can tell on camera, but it is quite yellow undertoned. That is something to keep in mind. I'm just going to go ahead and use it because why not? Usually I'm picky about my brow bone shade. Palette also does feel a little cheap, but I mean, packaging is not everything though. Keep that in mind. Some people are like, "Oh my god, I'm keeping it because of the packaging," and it's like, you gotta keep, you gotta have stuff for what it's on the inside. It's kind of just plastic and cheap, but it's not that big of a deal. So, okay, I think I might stay away from the blues. Maybe, maybe we're gonna stay away from the blues. Okay, I'm going to go into the same brown shade. This is really great if you just want a nice, simple, easy look. Whether you're staying inside all day because of quarantine or you're going to work after quarantine. This is just a really nice overall look to do. And I'm just using the Morphe M508 brush and it looks like that. Yeah. I think we're going to add just a tiny bit of like pink purple, like maybe like a maroon shade or something along this area. I do like doing that with some of my looks, just adding like a little bit of something to kind of like, ooh, extra color. <laughs> and it's, it's a nice way to incorporate color but not be crazy about it either. You know what I mean? Like you can incorporate color in your everyday looks pretty easily. So I think I'm going to add maybe a little bit of this shade on the outer part of the lid. And I'm just going in right with my finger. Sometimes that's the best tool to use. Is your finger. And I'm really gently pat patting this. like Just a little bit. Because I do want to focus a look just directly on the nice pinky, like the nice red tones in here as well. 
And so the best way to do this, especially if you are maybe a little hesitant to wear some color, to lighten it back up. So I'm gonna take this nice champagne shade right here. And there's not really a whole lot of those in this palette, if you can see. Um, I mean, we have this one, this is the one we're gonna use. But all these other ones really have more of a gold undertone or a green-blue undertone. And so that is keeping in mind, it's not the number one, like, neutral palette. You are definitely getting some color in here. I'm gonna try it out with my brush, but we may have to go back in with our finger. I have a how to put a how to how to incorporate color in every day. I have a whole series on it, and I will link that playlist down below if you're interested in easy ways to incorporate green or yellow and great products that so go along with it. So um, I did that about a little over a year ago, and I really enjoyed doing that and it really had me think outside the box but uh, but on top of it it also helped me like recommend products that would go along well with it so just add a little bit more color in the very outer part we're gonna go back in with this orangey not orangey like a brown shade i was looking at all the oranges but i hope you all are doing well just remember to stay safe and you know now is not the time to go to the beach I mean, I don't really have, I mean, shoot, if I lived in Florida right now, I'd want to go to the beach too. But I see people on um, Instagram stories and like Snapchat and stuff and they're, you know, got their backyard pool and I'm like, oh God, if only. Oh my gosh, what I would do to have an outdoor pool right now. Or just live in like a climate where weather is nice all year long. That would be really great. I'm gonna go back in with this champagne Shade. I would just call it a champagne shade. And I'm taking a angled brush like this. This is one of my favorite tricks to do. And even if you are just doing an everyday neutral look, pop in a little bit of that nice light shimmery shade on the inner part of your lower lash line. That really brightens it up. It just adds a little more light to your eyes. Because I personally, and I feel like I would like repeat myself a lot, but I really try to avoid putting liner like a dark colored liner in my waterline and because they feel like that really closes up the eye and if it looks like this you don't want to do a whole lot right so that's going to be for look number one but well, we're going to go on for a little bit of liner and lashes so for liner i'm going to use the smashbox always on gel liner in the shade fishnet and this is just a black pencil liner and i'm just going to gently kind of very lightly smudge the upper lash line. I don't want to do something really harsh like liquid liner, which is usually my go-to. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Just a little something just to kind of like give a little bit of definition on the lash. For mascara, I'm using my favorite Too Faced Better Than Sex. Love this mascara. It is so good. Seriously. Highly recommend, especially if you maybe have never tried it before. This is where it's at. This is just such a neutral, light look. Especially if you're just doing light glam and quarantine. Like, this is perfect for it. I feel like we're going to be looking back at these videos in a couple, these videos that we're talking about being in quarantine and self-isolation in a couple of years. I'm going to be like, oh, do you remember that? Like... That was a time. I have this roller. It's from Cosmetics, and it looks like the Nurse Jamie roller. I got this from a BoxyCharm, like, months back. And I just, I don't know, I just had this urge to, like, roll my neck and stuff. I've seen people do it on, like, Instagram and stuff, and it's like, oh my god, I want to do that too. And I have this really nice roller that I never used. Side note, I also have a jade roller that I got from Ulta. It was, like, 20 bucks. Like, it was not a very, like, high-quality one. It's... I guarantee you it's not real jade, um, but I like how it has like a roller side and that's really cooling. So, okay. We're gonna go into a little bit of lips. For lips, I'm gonna first go into the Morphe Liquid Lipstick in the shade Virgin. This is a really nice all over nude. Morphe has some of my favorite liquid lipsticks ever and I wanna try more. They're also only 10 bucks. 
having it be only 10 bucks, it is a great way to try new shades without being like, oh, another $30 on a Pat McGrath liquid lipstick or something. They do feel quite a little drying on the lips. That's what a lot of liquid lipsticks feel like though, just saying. Um, my favorite way to really gloss it up a bit and whatnot, it is to first moisturize before and if you have a lip exfoliator do that um, another great way is to pop a gloss on top and that's what i do a lot with liquid lipsticks because you know they wear well but they can be drying another fun fact you can get these at ulta and you can use your points or find a coupon um, i'm gonna you um go into the iconic london lip plumping gloss in the shade love struck and this is a nice light pink for plumpingness i would not say this is like a plumping lip gloss <laughs> just because it just i don't really see a difference and i'm not really a lip plumper kind of gal like i i'm not about that if you are you do you it more is just a, a like a minty lip gloss there's no real shimmer to it or anything either but it's so pretty and i really think it complements well with a nude Look like the Morphe one. If you don't have the iconic London one, use whatever you got. I mean, um, especially right now, I mean, this month, I am i don't think I'm doing a single video with new products. So personally, I'm just really focusing on what I have and showing you how to get glam with what you already have. So if you have any other requests to do videos, I do upload five days a week, but if you want to see more, I'm more than happy to do so. So I really like this look. This is just so like, Ooh, your eyes look better. I like it. I want to set my face just a little bit. I think we're going to use a little bit of Smashbox primer water. I just like this stuff. It's good. This is also oil free, so if you do need something that is oil free, because you have oily skin like me, <laughs> this is great. And it feels so light on the skin. Sometimes I feel like all nighter and whatnot can be a little heavy at times. So, all right, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, and let me know what you want to see next. It always means so much to me, you guys. Thumbs up my videos, and it helps me a lot because it helps YouTube recommend my videos for other people. So, thumbs it up, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.